Hi folks, in today's painting tutorial, I'll show you how to wet blend the cloak on this Roman Pride Mini. This video brought to you by Hero Forge. So starting off, I primed this mini in black and then I did a Zenithal highlight uh, with white. Just give myself a little bit of an idea of where the light is going to hit. So I'm gonna start off by painting in the fabric uh, red with Mephiston red. I figured go with a kind of more traditional paint scheme on this, except for the flag and the cloak. Those can be fun. <laughs> And uh, now I'm going in and using Cadian Flesh Tone to color in the face, uh, as well as the hands and the feet and legs. Uh, I also went through and did a layer of Agarath Earthshade to bring a little bit more depth to it. Now I'm doing the eyes a little differently. I'm painting in black model color to kind of paint the eyes in, and then I'm going to paint in the whites of the eyes with white. Uh, this is giving it a little bit more of like an outline around the eye and I figured especially with the sunkenness behind this helmet that would help the eyes kind of pop out a little bit more, be a little bit more noticeable. So I went in and painted the blue uh, iris in and now I'm just coming back in with Cadian Flesh Tone and I'm cleaning up that black area around the eye. All right, so while I'm waiting for that all to dry, I'm going in with Dryad Bark just to color in the shin guards here. I also use this on the staff of the banner that he is using. Just figured a nice wood look for that and uh, leather shin guards. To add a little bit more depth to the fabric, I'm coming in with Agarath Earthshade. I really like using Agarath Earthshade on reds. I find it gives it um, a nice depth uh, without making it too, too bright red. So Evil Sun Scarlet is kind of the highlight color. I'm just coming in and getting just where the light would hit. So a little bit up into the crease between those little dangly down bits. Uh, and I also use this all over on like the headdress and all of that. So Doomable Brown, I'm coming in with that and just painting that in again, kind of jumping through a lot of these steps because you've seen them before. So to do the armor, I'm coming in with Balthasar Gold. And I liked this color. It has a little bit of a copper kind of look to it. But to bring out these other parts of the armor, I'm coming in with Canopic Alloy. This is uh, kind of more warm toned silver. Uh, so it kind of acts as a nice contrast with the Balthasar gold without being too uh, um, far away. You know, it's not the cool of a silver. Uh, so I'm coming in with shadow gray and black for some of the leather bits. And then I'm just going to kind of layer it up with some shadow gray here. And then I'll come back in with a mixture of shadow gray and Fenrisian gray, just on the very edges, kind of a, a bit of an edge highlight on the belt and then on the little bits uh, down on the skirt as well. So to add a little bit more depth to the armor, I'm coming in again with Agrath Earthshade. Uh, I thought with this really warm tone, I would stick with that warmer color instead of like a null oil that I thought would darken it up a little too much. Before we get into that cloak, I want to thank today's sponsor, Hero Forge. Hero Forge allows you to build a completely custom miniature, letting you choose your race, haircut, body proportions, armor, clothing, equipment, accessories, and much, much more. I really like that they added a bunch of banners recently. And within the banners, when you go over to the color portion, they now have decals that you can add. So you can add a bunch of different symbols to your banner. You can combine them. You can and change the colors on those symbols. And for this month, they added a bunch of the pride flags, which I think is pretty darn awesome. Hereforge's online design tool makes it incredibly easy to build and customize your miniature. So head on over to hereforge.com and start building your custom mini today. Now we come to the cloak. So I started off by painting in the main stripes of the color. I wanted to do this to kind of make sure that I, um, had enough space for all of the different colors and I kind of spaced out the stripes evenly. I did actually go back in and correct 
the uh, orange and the red after I had painted those because I realized uh, I had made them a little bit too small. So uh, yeah, I'll put in all of the col paint colors that I'm using on the screen and down in the description below if you want to replicate this look. So there you go, that is all of the main colors kind of painted in in this stripe. And then to transition them, I'm going to wet blend. So I'm taking, I've got all these paints on my wet palette. I'm taking the red and uh, just kind of painting that in and then the orange putting down another kind of layer of that orange while the red is still wet and then I'm kind of dipping my brush back and forth between those two colors and slowly blending them together. I don't want to work it kind of too much of that red down into the orange or too much of the orange up into the red, but just kind of finding that nice medium. And then I'm going to repeat this process with each of the colors. So uh, with the orange and the yellow kind of transitioning into each other. Uh, now you could just kind of paint the red and immediately start um, wet blending the orange in instead of doing the stripes. I wanted to do the stripes just to get the spacing a little bit better um, before I did all the wet blending. And there you go, that is all the wet blending. And now on to the flag. So I decided to do a uh, bisexual pride flag on this fun guy. Uh, so starting out with pink horror to paint that in uh, and I painted the whole flag just in the pink horror and then I'm coming back in with pink horror and xeris purple uh, and to do this I actually instead of going straight across I added a little bit of a swoop uh, just kind of following that top bit of the flag um, you know it's not going to hang perfectly straight because it is attached by those two points instead of stretched straight across. So that's just, you know, pay attention to how the mini is sculpted and try and follow those lines. Right now to add a little bit of dimension to this cloak, I'm coming in with Nuln Oil. I want, I figured Nuln Oil was kind of a nice uh, neutral dark color and I'm really just focusing it into the folds and the creases. I'm trying not to get a whole lot on the rest of the mini. And now uh, just to kind of finish it off, I'm going, I decided to go back in and with Pallid Witch Flesh, so uh, paint in the border of the banner. All right, so there you go. That is the finished miniature. Um, if you use any of these techniques, I'd love to see photos of them. You know, you can easily use this wet blending technique to get a rainbow effect like I did here, or to wet blend any two colors or three colors um, to get a cool ombre effect or a slow transition between two different colors. Thanks again to Heroforge for sponsoring this video. Happy Pride Month to everybody, and we will see you in our next video. All right, bye.